There we go, right at the boat. <laughs> Loosen that drag up. So this little creek that I'm in now, snook, those are snook on the surface. I was gonna say, this little creek that I'm in now is a, a snook and tarpon, you know, it's kind of a nursery back here. You don't catch uh, big ones bound down here, but uh, you can catch, uh, you definitely get a hold of a, a, of a juvenile tarpon in here, which is why I'm back here. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start fishing the area. I haven't seen a tarpon roll, which is, uh, which is weird. I've never been back here and not seen tarpon. It doesn't matter what month of the year uh, that I'm in, but I did see uh, three snook uh, that was little, you know, small ones, uh, right on the surface, uh, looking down, um, right, right there beside me. Which I haven't seen that behavior here before. Uh, I can see mullet right here, but I'm gonna keep pushing in. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me go ahead and just start casting here real quick. Got some bigger pushes there. Those are probably mullet. But my go-to setup is uh, the slam shady, and I'm gonna pull the tail off because uh, these uh, these fish back here. Uh, when they're small, when these tarpon are small, they don't like uh, the paddle tail. I've noticed that once they get to that 30 inch size, then they'll start hitting on the paddle tails. I've noticed, but uh, but when it's um, you know, when they're smaller, like you know the 30 inches and under, uh, typically just a, a straight nub rig without the tail on it seems to work best for me. But uh, you know, odd. I still haven't seen a, a tarpon roll. Usually when I'm tarpon fishing, what I'm doing is I'm waiting for them to roll and then I'll cast right on top of where they roll, but not seeing any rolling in here. Really, really odd. That was a tarp in there. Okay, starting to see some tarpon. That was a nice one. So the behavior is weird. They're really on the surface. Usually they're down, they're down kind of at the bottom and then they'll come up and hit it. There we go. <laughs> See that one jump in the boat? That was pretty cool. Yeah, he broke me off. Drag was too tight. Son of a gun. <sighs> He hit right at the boat. Now that was fun. Tell you what, I've been uh, I've been striking out on these tarpon lately. I've gone uh, since I've been back to Florida. That's uh, 0 for 3 right now. That was a cool catch, though. So I retied. I went ahead and put my uh, my favorite setup on, which is the uh, Pro Shrooms jig head, uh, which is the the same jig head that we use for Ned rigs. And again, I use the Slam Shady with the uh, tail pulled off. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep throwing that out there. Um, I'm still not seeing them roll, but obviously they're there. There was three or four right there at the boat, and I'm seeing stuff right on the surface, uh, some pushes off the edges. So they're they're definitely in here. Um, but I don't know how much time I've got. I've got a cloud that's right there, and I'm probably about 30 minutes from the ramp, so I'm going to have to keep my eye out on that. Tell you what, something about these tarpon, uh, they, when they hit, you have got to be on it. I mean, your reaction time has got to be good because they don't give you much of a shot. Not like a redfish, not like a trout where they'll bite it and hang on to it for a little bit. These are just, they're kind of like using their mouths to feel it. I mean, they don't... Uh, you know they they don't uh, they don't let you uh, they don't let you make any mistakes on that reaction time. I've gotten a couple of bites uh, that have been kind of sleeping at the wheel. There we go. He hasn't gone airborne. This might be a snook. No, oh, little tarpon. He didn't know he was supposed to jump. Let's see if we can get him back in the water there. There we go. Pretty fish. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this is uh this is the rig right here. So anytime that you're uh that you guys are juvenile tarpon fishing, pro shrooms jig head with a 
Slam Shady or Gold Digger. Sometimes they can uh, they can be particular about the color. Uh, sometimes they'll want a lighter color. Sometimes they want a darker color. Uh, today, obviously, they're wanting the lighter color, uh, but it's uh, it's working out really good. I, I really recommend you uh, trying these things out. There we go, right at the boat. <laughs> Loosen that drag up. Don't make that mistake twice. There we go. Got the best of them. That's cool. The only thing that was left was the picture. That's uh, that's fine with me. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's fun. There's some bigger ones back there too. It's funny, in this creek, typically right here in this channel between where that choke point is here and that little choke point right there is where you get the better sized ones like that one I just caught or the one I just uh, hooked. Um, the ones that are up further at the end of this creek uh, straight ahead are usually small, but I'm seeing some bigger ones roll up there. Um, depending on what this weather is gonna do, I think I'm going to uh, maybe push up there. But uh, this is uh, these fish are on fire right now. This is a pretty cool bite. And all I'm doing is, is you know, normally what I'm what I do is I, I wait for the the tarpon to roll, and then I'm just get a bump. Normally what I do is I wait for the uh, tarpon to roll and then I cast to it. Well, these tarpon really aren't rolling, so I'm just kind of uh, you know casting in the area. And these uh, <laughs> these tarpon are just whacking this thing. And uh, something else I've noticed with uh, with juvenile tarpon too is they do not uh, like a whole lot of you know twitching and pausing. It's a straight retrieve. That's all they want. Now something else I've noticed, um, whenever a, a storm is going to move in, you know, get some rain in the area, it really fires these, uh, these tarpon up. They, they like the humidity, they like that, um, uh, whatever rain that is. Aww. Might have to reach in the, uh, the hunter pack of Slam Shadies to get some more. I threw a couple on the deck so I wouldn't have to go back there, but, uh, I'm kind of going through them here a little bit. Soft hands on this one. Soft hands. Seriously doubt if I'm going to be able to get them in from this far away, but we'll see. There's another one right there. Just ease them into the boat. Ease them in. Come on. Come on. He's hooked in the same spot right there, underneath the uh, underneath the jaw there. Hit him on the head. He hasn't jumped yet. There we go. He's a little better one. Tell you what, this is about as much fun as you can have when you're fishing. This is awesome. I absolutely love this. He looped back around. He zigzagged on me. Okay, reverse. Ooh, I gave him some slack. That wasn't good. He's going to come up and jump right by the boat. There we go. Give him a little bit of slack when, uh, when he jumped up in the air. right underneath the kayak. I probably should just net him. There we go. That was pretty cool. I'll tell you what. This, uh, this juvie tarpon bite is on fire. There we go. Little guy right there. These are the funnest fish to catch. I love these things. You just put on a show. Look how pretty he is. Look at the silver sides. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Okay, let's get him back in the water, see if he's got some friends, maybe some bigger ones. There you go. From that last uh, fish, I got, I got kind of wrapped up and blown into some stuff. So this will be my very next cast. I'm gonna see if I can go uh, two in a row on cast here. But these fish are just fired up. Mm. 
No, no two in a row. <laughs> two out of three. Two out of three. <laughs> this guy in now one thing about those pro shroom jig heads they are a fine wire hook even though they're pretty strong you got to be careful you can straighten them up so you got to be careful with them i am using eight pound braid i did step up to a 20 pound leader this time a lot of times i'll run a 15 uh, he's gonna come up there he goes that's okay again that's fun uh, but as i was saying uh, normally i'll run a 15 but i was having some break offs uh, this is getting a little chafed i should probably go ahead and uh retie it so if you ever wonder what juvenile tarpon look like when they're rolling just watch the video this is what they look like rolling of various sizes got some really small micro poons and then we got those ones that are about 30 inches or so like the last one i just hooked he might have been a little less he might have been about 24 inches but um what i call the fun size there we go Now to make this fun, just to let you know, uh, you're better off using like a medium light or a light action rod. This one is considered a light action. It's uh, it fishes more like a um, a medium light, um, but uh, but yeah, it's 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 plenty of backbone. There we go. It's plenty of backbone to get these fish. And uh, if you do get into one of those bigger ones, uh, you know I've I've handled uh, reds up to. Uh, you know up to 30 inches plus on a uh, on a medium light action rod so you can get it done um but you know if you were out there uh oh here comes rain tell you what i'm gonna go head for that bridge and wait this rain out and then i'll come back give me a chance to re-rig and everything i'll see y'all later it's like that weather actually uh, wind up going around me i've got a little uh a uh, clear opening in front of me. All of this stuff is heading west, so that should go south of me. This should go north of me. I checked the uh, Smart Fishing Spots app, and uh, as of right now, the radar is pretty clear. Uh, but you know, the the radar, the way that it works is um, it doesn't predict uh, building. It's not showing you building clouds. It's only showing you rain. So you still have to watch the horizon for those building clouds. Okay, so it looks like, uh, you know, I dodged a bullet with the weather there. Um, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to fish, uh, see if I can get a couple more. And then after that, um, I'm going to hightail it back to the truck and see if I can beat this weather. Um, you know, it's with the way that the clouds are, it's it's bound, it, it's going to happen. I just need to, uh, uh, need to be quick and, and call it. But uh, we're going to see if we can get some more here. There we go. That didn't take long. That yeah, spit it. That's the problem whenever you, uh, you know, you have to bow to the Silver King, as they say. But whenever they're uh, ripping drag and you've already got your hands in front of you, you know, so they don't pull the, the hook out of their mouth, you kind of run out of re uh, real estate with uh, <laughs> with your hands. So uh, that's, uh, that's something I'm going to have to work on. Tell me that's not fun. Be gentle. Soft hands. He's coming up. He's coming up. Keep your arms close in case you need to give him a little bit of a uh, room. Here we go. Here we go. Coming around. Feet apart. He's coming up. Oh, I don't like this. I knew as soon as he jumped, he was going to be off. 
So if you like videos like this, instructional videos that don't necessarily just show you just the action, but they tell you what's going on and why the fish are biting, we've got plenty of these here at the Insider Club at Salt Strong. Matter of fact, there's six other coaches just like me that are posting videos like this every single week. So every week we go out, we fish a different spot, we catch the fish and we show you the on the water action and we break down in a pre-video of why we chose the spot that we chose. We show you the on the water action. We actually show you exactly where we caught those fish down to the spot, what changes we had to make and what lures and the equipment that we were using to make that catch happen. So if you enjoy videos like this, again, I highly recommend that you check out saltstrong.com and take a look at the insider community. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the number one online fishing club in America, where we guarantee that you will catch more fish in less time, save money on all the tackle that you need, and make friends fast or it's free. For more information, go to saltstrong.com. And until then, we hope to see you in the insider community soon. Have a great day. Bye.